What's up guys? My name's Abe. Welcome back to Full Yeet Adventures. Huh? I feel like something's missing. Welcome back guys. I'm Abe with Full Yeet Adventures and today we got the product. What's up guys? I'm Abe. Welcome back to Full Yeet Adventures. Today we're going to have a product install. We've got some mirrors that has been supplied to us by Kimimoto. So today we're going to check out this product and we're going to check out this install and let you guys know how we feel about it. All right, let's uh, open this box up and let's check out and see what, what's inside. So we've got our first mirror. She could get a look at all the different joints uh, uh, for adjustability. We'll get more in depth with that as, uh, with the install, but right now we're just quickly looking and see uh, what we've got inside the package. You've got your uh, adjustment rubber pieces that will fit in there. I know specified on their website, the link that you will see down in the description is this is supposed to be able to support and fit uh, tubing diameters from 1.7, 1.75 to 2.0. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna check that out, see how these work, put those in there, test them out, and see what fits for the 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3. So you got your other mirror. And some packing foam, but no stickers. Look guys, stickers and koozies. That's what I live for, stickers and koozies. So, so let's go ahead and peel this Band-Aid off. Now, sometimes you can uh, you leave this on after install, but I wanna give you a, a good look of what, it, what it's like. Um, you can kinda keep that on there so you don't scratch anything, but be in the mirror on an off-road machine. I'm not too worried about it. So just a quick overlook of the adjustability features of the mirror itself. So you've got one joint here that flexes or rotates around. You have another joint that rotates and flexes around. And then once you get it out, you have your mirror itself which can be adjusted. Now right now it's it's not super easy to adjust. Well, it is easy to adjust, but it's a little tight, brand new product. So it needs to get wore in a little bit. Uh, we will have some durability testing, not on this episode, but as time goes, you know, messing around with the mirrors and stuff. So I was thinking about it, you know, this adjustment right here, it would match my Dodge, you know, because if I, if I am, you know, regular driving, you know, I can adjust them out like that. And then whenever I'm in tow mode, you know, towing Polaris's and stuff out of the woods, I can put my, uh, my tow mirrors up, you know, my moose mirrors. So I like that. I like the, um, basically your one, two, three axes of adjustability. I know I've had mirrors in the past, so like the factory Can-Am X3 mirrors. Um, there's not a whole lot of adjustability and I think that would help too. you know you get stuck in a certain situation uh, on your side or up against a, a wall or a tree or something and I've broke several of those mirrors that's why I don't have them anymore it's because I got tired of replacing them I think with these uh, might have a better ability to adjust them bring them out of the way if you're getting stuck in a situation you don't want to destroy your mirrors um, and being that they are a cheap option for mirrors, I think listed up on their website somewhere around um, $60 maybe. I'll check that, their price point. Like I said before, there'll be a link down in the description uh, for you guys to check them out, purchase them. So I think uh, enough talking about it, holding it in my hand, we should go ahead and get the install started. 
Before we get in on this install, I want to show you guys some, some real, real world stuff of what I'm working with. So when you see a lot of install videos and stuff going on, they don't have the, you know, they don't have the windshields and they don't have the enclosures and stuff like that. And when you get the products, you think you're like, well, how do I make this fit with, you know, all these different scenarios? So I'm going through the same thing and took it out of the box, looked at it and was like, okay, how can I mount these mirrors and they still be functional with the least amount of modifications to my current setup on my machine? So, as you can see, I have the, the BRP uh, flip windshield, whatever you want to call it, comes down, mounts in. I already went, during install of this, I already had to put it on and uh, make adjustments for the intrusion bars. And I don't want to remove the intrusion bars because that reduces some of the integrity. There's a reason why it's there, reason why I want to leave it there. Then on the next part is, is, as you can see, the enclosures, we've installed, um, you know, it kind of seals the deal on sealing up the cab. And as you can see, you've got a seal right here along the roll bar. And then this here uh, kind of keeps all your, your cold, you know, your cold, your wet, your mud and stuff out of the cab when you're riding. Uh, summertime's coming, may take some of this stuff off, take these off, but for right now, I was thinking to myself, how do I make this work with minimal modifications to the product? So, we got to looking, and with the BRP upper doors, there's this little piece right here. Um, this is your little add-on with the upper doors that you mount in here, kind of covers this, keeps, you know, wind block. Uh, uh, not a lot comes through here, but it's just a little piece. This is held in by two bolts. Um, or if you have this on there, it's one bolt and then a plastic clip. So what we're gonna try to do is mount these mirrors here without modifying the windshield, without modifying the enclosure, and taking this piece off and seeing how they fit. So first thing I'm gonna do is, is Put the windshield up, get it out of our way, you know. Then I'm going to remove my two bolts for this little piece right here. Get my first bolt out and then do my second one. And then your piece comes out like so. Um, there is, from factory, from the factory install, there is a sticky pad that's supposed to go up against this, but it doesn't work very well. Um, mud, dirt, debris, and everything gets in here between the washing and stuff like that. It loses its ability to stick. Probably could modify that some, but it's not really hurting anything. The two bolts hold it in place. So, moving forward, we're gonna go ahead and get our mirror, get our mirror set up, uh, figure out how we want to mount it and which way it works, and we'll go through that process with you. And then we'll do the other side, then we'll come back and show you the adjustability with it on the machine. All right, well, so the clamp itself is held on by two Allen bolts, uh, five millimeter, is what you will need to get them off. There is a little, I guess you'd say, uh, lock washer in there. Set those guys aside. Now on two of your three joints, there is Allen bolts here and here so you can uh, loosen up your adjustment if you want to. There's a lot of Teflon nuts in the back behind each one of these. Uh, secures it so it is a tight fit. You won't have any problems with stripping them out. So it seems um, you can tighten them up, loosen them up. Um, I will try that later on. Uh, see how that works, you know, different adjustability if I need to loosen them up. But right now, everything seems pretty, pretty good that the way that it is. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this clamp off. Now right now, the just by looking at the test fit, it doesn't look like I'm going to need the rubber straps that are in between. Um, I might grab those to put those on there so maybe it'll give it some extra bite around this cage. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and slip this Johnny on and get my bolts started. Go ahead and get the first one up. Get the second one in there. So right there as it sits, we'll go ahead and kind of tighten this one up a little bit, give ourselves still a little bit of adjustability, but snug them a little bit. We'll go with the, get it snugged enough to where I can show you the functions of how the mirror adjusts. So you got your first pivot point axis, you've got your second one, and then you have your, I'm towing a Polaris out of the trails, adjustable moose mirrors, just like my Dodge. So I think that's pretty cool. We'll get some shots uh, after we get both installs on of seeing how they look on here. I know some people, you know, uh, cosmetics wise, you know, it's got to look the coolest, or whatever. So, we'll give you all the examples uh, between what accessories you have on and how it looks. Uh, so, you can help make your decision is if this is a product that you want um, and cover all the gaps. So, I'm going to loosen these bolts back up just a little bit. And then we are enough to where I can move this around and find my position. I'm going to go ahead and bring my windshield down, show you that it's uh, where it seals off and how it looks. So, so it comes down. It still has a seal on it. It seals around this. Now. Being in this vicinity of this area, I still have my adjustability, I haven't tightened my bolts and stuff up. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for right now. And then, adjust this up. Uh, figure out, you know, with my, bring my enclosures in. So I need this to come down more. I figure out how I had it earlier. So I got my windshield down. I've got everything set the way that I want it to. Uh, made my adjustments. So with the intrusion bars, the windshield, and the enclosure, minus your piece right here, you can get it to function. Still have your seal around through here. Your mirror, your adjustment uh, pivot points, where you can bring it out, you can bring it down, um, and still have the ability if you want to you can adjust these back and forth. Uh, we'll get a driver passenger um, perspective once we get finished. But as far as when you know, you've got it adjusted and you're looking uh, where you want it, your door still with the enclosures opens and shuts. Now, 
If you didn't have enclosures, uh, you could bring it anywhere up here and move it around if you wanted to. Um, there's a metal frame inside of this and it's not got a whole lot of give to it. So that's the reason why we're mounting it down here. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, hit you guys with a quick uh, time-lapse install, get the passenger side done, and then we'll go over some more, you know, just to show you guys what we're looking at. Yep, towing a Polaris. First things first, I want to give a shout out to uh, Kimimoto for, you know, hitting me up, giving me a chance, an opportunity to showcase some of the products, uh, doing an install. We greatly appreciate it. Um, hope to be working with you in the future. I wanted to touch base and say a few things about these mirrors uh, for information. There will be, as stated before, uh, a link down in the description for the uh, to get to the product, to purchase it on your own. Uh, price point starts at about $39.99, which I feel like is a you know a cheap alternative for somebody that does budget building, budget off-roading, and stuff like that. And then also, I was going to touch a few points of like what they say these mirrors fit, what they've got them listed for. So they're compatible with you know uh, all your Polaris Razor models except for your 170, your Can-Am Maverick X3s, your X3 Maxes. Uh, your Pioneers, Kawasaki's, uh, um, your Rhinos, Wildcats, um, CF Motos, and, and John Deere, even John Deere products. And this is me just looking over the list that they've provided. So if you're following in the specs between, you know, the, the, the roll bar size, these will fit. And I feel like these are a pretty good alternative, especially the ones that I've dealt with in the past. Again, Thank you guys. I appreciate it uh, for giving me this opportunity. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, drop them down in the comments. Hit us with a like. Hit us with a subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Until next time.